Hi guys, it's me Chrissy and I'm here with my 2017 books 6 to 10 and um, all of this is fantasy because it's February right now and um, so mostly I'm just focusing on reading fantasy and I forgot how much I love fantasy. I've just been speeding through all of these books and it's just so nice because I actually feel I guess I don't know fulfilled kind of in my reading life because I'm reading a genre that I originally started with and very much love and I kind of forgot how much I loved it actually so it's quite nice and so the first uh, book that I finished was Mistwood by Leia Saipes this is a young adult high fantasy about a shapeshifter who lives in a magical forest and um, she basically goes she or it goes back to the magical forest to recharge uh, her powers and then one day the prince of the land comes to go get her because he needs her help um, and it's basically this shifter person is meant to protect the monarchy whether the king or queen is good or bad it doesn't matter because they are their own personal bodyguard for centuries because they want to and it's really really cool and I just found it a very interesting plot and it's very very fast because this is only one book it's like 200, it's almost 300 pages of fast-paced, semi-predictable but not really um, high fantasy. And um, Tamara Pierce blurbed it, so I, how could I not buy it? And it took me like two years to read it, and I feel ashamed of myself. But also, I'm really glad that I got to I got around to this one. Next one is. Do now. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the ruler of books tag, but I actually hadn't finished it yet. I only read part one and two, which is quite frankly that's a lot already. So, yeah. Anyway, um, finally finished it. It's very good. I really loved how there was focus on what's beneath the surface in many of the scenes. Like, um, you think this is what's actually going on, but the real battle is like, um, going on in between the words, and it's just very very intricate now I can see why it took me a while to read this because I just felt you know how when you read a book sometimes and it's just so filling almost like it's too much and you just need like you want to finish it but you just have to like take a break for a while that's what I did with Dune that doesn't mean I that my year-long break I didn't love it because I named it you know 2016 book of the year but um I just needed a break and when I finished it it was just it was just yes it was just yes. However, at the end part though, um, okay, I'm not sure if this is a spoiler because I'm not really gonna say it, but I just feel more like it ended up slightly pitting women. I, well, I mean, if you want to skip this next 20 seconds, you can. Um, I feel like it ended up pitting the women against each other and I, I wasn't really a fan of that. Um, even like Chani and Jessica throughout the book didn't really have like, um, friendship or at least I somewhat of a mutual respect yes but mm, yeah what well, it it wasn't like you know best friendship but then again I would understand if it wasn't best friendship but that's that's fine but yeah so I might read the second books I have it but I'm not entirely sure because I feel like I think I'm good this was a lot this is a lot it's very big it. Okay, next up is The Screaming Staircase, uh, Lockwood & Co, book one by Jonathan Stroud. This one I can definitely say that it was written by Guy because the, um, the main character, the main point of view is a girl. Her name is, I think, Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. And I remember when she, there's a certain scene when she saw this ghost and it was a ghost of a woman and she said, immediately I can tell she's prettier than me and I don't like her and I was like what does that have to do with anything but then again maybe I'm nitpicking you know um other than that though it's a very interesting concept wherein um ghosts have come back to London and like there are houses where people have died in and therefore there are ghosts in them now so then only children up to about maybe 15 about to about 18 I suppose can see ghosts and or hear them or you know all those psychic sort of manifestations and so they end up um, being taken into these companies 
that get rid of them or silence these ghosts and at first I thought it was oh it's said in Victorian times but then they mentioned like sneakers and jeans and I was like oh it's modern <laughs> it's probably because it was British and I just thought with ghosts I just automatically go oh it's British and they're ghosts it's Victorian you know what I mean it's yeah uh, but other than that, I thought this was a pretty good solid start to a series. I'm not sure if I'll be picking up the second one it's because I don't read a lot of horror, so this was actually quite um, scary for me because I don't watch or read a lot of horror, so some of these scenes were like creepy, but I just found it to be pretty good and yeah, that's it. And then finally, after a year, I picked up Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And yes, like even when I was done reading this book, I still kept thinking about it and like what's going on with it and like all the characters and stuff. And um, so I pretty much don't have to say what it's about or anything because all of booktube already knows. Um, what I did like was there was a strong female friendship, strong female characters. However, Safi is like really, really impulsive. To okay, like Isolt, I get her, I like her. Safi, however, just impulsive. I mean, like, impulsive here, if it says she's impulsive or something, it's, it's an understatement. She just goes for stuff. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the magic system was pretty interesting, wherein there are different witches of, ev of um, every kind and the different strength levels as well. Um, I was sort of hoping that Safi could do more than just tell the truth from a lie. She can't even tell if it really is the truth or if it really is a lie. As long as the person believes it, then it's the truth. So I'm just like, what? So she's kind of not that useful. Hopefully in book two, she will be, but um, the fast pace, I like the the action. Um, I like this. I want to discover the world a bit more, but Despite, you know, what I didn't like, I actually did enjoy it very much. And I can see why there is a lot of hype about it. And it's not exactly fake. It's pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the second book in this series. And finally, like, the dessert of my month that was fantasy. And that is, sadly but happily, The Faith of the Tearling. I am probably going to have a book review on this, mostly because I've already done book review book 1 and 2, so it would be unfair if I didn't do a review of book 3. <sighs> I feel almost like I kind of ruined myself this month by reading this, because I was like, oh, I want to save it till the end of the month, so it's like my treat for myself, and then I was just like, who am I kidding? I just want to read it now. So I read it now, and <sighs> it's like feels it's also see i can't even really like say stuff properly yeah i think i'll just have a review for this but um it was i can see what she did in the end for it and i don't necessarily love it i understand it but i think that in a way yes it made sense and um I, we got to see so many other different characters point of views characters that weren't probably forgotten about since book one um the fate of father tyler um and other characters as well and it just it was beautiful and i'm just upset it's over anyway um non related to what i read because this also doesn't have a part of goodreads i read um this zine um Issue number two, Glucose, issue number two, uh, the theme was coming of age. Um, it features a lot of art from people in my city, as well as art articles, essays, poems, short stories, and I guess fiction. Um, I, I feel like I'm plugging myself, but hey. Um, I actually have a art, an essay, like first page, I'm so honored, but um, it's here and I, also, I didn't just read mine, of course, I wrote it, but um, other people's as well. Um, I can definitely say that the art was, you have photographs and then you have um, art as well and all that cool stuff. Yeah, um, this is one of my favorite ones. It's like, um, 
it's Tagalog, but it's basically saying, you know, when a girl gets her first period, and um, they're saying, oh, you're a girl, you're a woman now. And then the girl says, I can't, I can't do this. Or like, I can't take it. Um, so I just found that to be really interesting. And then you have more art and stuff. Yeah. So for my essay, I'm actually um, going to film a video and I'm going to be reciting my essay. Mostly because my friend Kara told me to do it. But also because like, I guess I want to just open up um, my channel to other stuff. So, um, yeah, just look out for my essay coming soon. So, yeah, oh, that just feels weird to say. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's all that I read for books 6 to 10 in Fantasy February. If you guys read any of these, let me know. Um, do you want to read any of these? And um, what are you reading? And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.